Hello, my name is Dr. Heather Kovac and I'm here with the Drake Center to talk about dog grooming today. Dr. Kovac, how important is grooming and hygiene for my dog's health? So grooming your dog is very important. We do see a lot of patients who come in and they're heavily matted or they have burrs in their fur, um, trapping foxtails, things like that. So it is very important to keep your dog groomed, but every dog is different on how much grooming they need. Do you, all dogs require grooming? They do require hair brushing um, and also nail trimming for sure. So the nails grow uh, continuously, obviously, throughout the dog's life, just like our toenails and fingernails do. So they do need to be trimmed. Now, some dogs wear them down with running on hard surfaces like sidewalks or concrete. They'll, they'll wear them down. But dogs, most dogs do have a little thumbnail. It's called the dew claw, and that never touches the ground. So that one does need to be trimmed pretty regularly in all dogs. What do I need to do when grooming my dog? So you need a hairbrush, of course. Uh, you'll need nail trimmers. There are specific dog nail trimmers that we like, but if it's a really small dog, um, you sometimes can get away with the human nail trimmers. That's usually preferred to get a, a real dog clipper. Um, you'll also need to get some ear cleanser. Um, we sell some here, but they do uh, sell things like that at pet stores as well. So wiping out the ears every time that they have a bath is important just to remove any buildup and also to check to see if the ears are red or there is a lot of discharge. That's the time to come and see the vet. So hairbrush, nail trimmers, and maybe some ear cleaner. How does regular grooming contribute to the good health of my dog? So keeping dogs clean is important um, for their skin health and, and their nails, of course, keeping them short. We sometimes will see animals come in and their nail is so overgrown that it's actually curving around and puncturing the pad of the foot, which is very painful, but also can get infected. Um, dogs who have very dirty skin are more likely to get fleas. Um, or matted fur, which then they can get skin infections underneath that. If it gets wet, they can develop hot spots. Um, so keeping your dog clean, the coat and the ears and, and the feet are very important for their overall health. How soon should I start to groom my dog? Really, when they're young. I mean, you want to start out young just so they get used to the grooming. Um, so they're not afraid of the hairbrush. They're not afraid of having their nails trimmed. In fact, we encourage puppy owners from the get-go to start working on just handling their toes because it seems like nail trims are kind of a scary thing for dogs. So if we can get them used to having their feet handled, their nails handled, and accept the nail trimmers when they're young, it's going to make your life so much easier down the road, um, not needing you know, to really hold them for it. They'll just be used to it. Speaking of puppies, what should I do for my puppy's first grooming? Well, it depends on the, the length of the coat. So if it's a short haired dog or a puppy that doesn't have a lot of long hair, you can bathe them yourself at home in your deep sink or your bathtub. You can use a puppy shampoo. There's lots of great products out there. I also just like Johnson's baby shampoo. It's very mild. It's safe to use on their head in case it did get in their eyes, it wouldn't hurt them. Um, so bathing them regularly, of course, depends on how dirty they get with how often they'll need to be uh, groomed. Uh, and then just brushing their coat. Again, getting them used to the, the brushing and not that it's a scary thing. So really right away you want to get them used to it. How often should my dog be groomed? That depends on the breed. So uh, I have two dogs at my house that never get a tangle in their hair. That's just they have short hair. It doesn't get matted. But another dog might need to be brushed every week to make sure that they don't get mats. Um, some dogs their hair grows continuously and they need to have hair trims. Um, but just brushing really regularly to prevent mats is important. But that really depends on the breed and also the activity level of the dog. If they're running around outside and um, getting burrs and stickers and things like that, you'll need to remove those as soon as you find them. Last question. What groom, dog grooming services does the Drake Center provide? So we provide bathing services. So um, a bath in the tub. We have a hydro surge bathing system that helps get the shampoo all the way down to the skin. We do a blow drying, um, full brush out. We also have a cage dryer where they'll go in the cage and have warm air circulated to fluff them up after the bath. We trim their nails. We clean their ears. We also express their anal glands if necessary. Um, so those are the services we provide here. All right, you guys, if you have any other questions about dog grooming, feel free to give us a call and let us know. Thank you.